In the course introduction, I mentioned that we'd be exploring the API of Redux and how to use it using a test-driven approach. In this unit, we'll be taking a look at why we're doing things this way and how we can write tests. Keep in mind that this is going to be a little bit of a crash course, but it's going to cover everything we'll need to start testing our code. Since we're learning Redux by writing tests rather than using visual components in the browser, there is no UI to verify our work. Not only would it slow down the learning process, but manually testing our code in the browser is incredibly tedious. Imagine making a tiny change and then having to reload your browser, manually checking the result in the browser console, for example. You'd have to stay really alert to catch any mistakes, and you'll probably get bored in no time. Writing tests also allows us to keep tabs on edge cases without constantly trying to reproduce them ourselves. In this course, we're going to test our code with Jest. Jest is a testing library written by Facebook. It makes it easy, as well as fast, for us to check that our code works. We'll use the basic Jest tools to test our code, but its API is much bigger than what you'll see being used in this course. If you'd like to learn more in-depth stuff about Jest, I definitely recommend checking out its documentation. If you're familiar with Jest, feel free to skip this entire unit. Jest is based on Jasmine, so if you're already familiar with that, or testing in general, you can skim through the modules in this unit pretty quickly.